What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Gadgets 3. Like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on all the platforms, Twitter, Instagram. We're always posting some great stuff there. All right, guys, this video, if you're watching it, is because you want to transfer your uh, pictures and videos from your Android to an external hard drive. Now, any hard drive will do. This is a, a really older hard drive. This is a 256, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's not a Type C, as you could see. It's one of the older ports, but it still works. Okay, so it's still, you know, I could still move over stuff to this hard drive from this phone um, and then move it to my laptop or keep it here. Again, uh, hard drives nowadays are super uh, cheap. So if you want to get one from a type C to, to a type C, you know, nowadays all phones are usually type C. So the new hard drives are usually type C. So if you want to get one of those, I'm going to link it down in the description, check Amazon and uh, you know, they go for 50, 60 bucks if I'm not mistaken. But if you want to transfer it to one of the hard drives that you have available, again, super simple. I have this one again, 256, more than enough space to move all the pictures from my phone to the hard drive. Okay. So all you're going to need is the actual cable that comes with this hard drive. Now, if you don't have it, you would, you know, pretty much go to Amazon and purchase it. This one is, as you can see, one of those older um, cables. I mean, you could pretty much tell it here. Okay. Luckily I had a spare one, so I'll be able to use it from this hard drive. Uh, I could connect the uh, cable to this hard drive. However, the other side of it is uh, USB. I won't be able to connect it to the phone because again, it's type C. If it was a newer model, it could be type C to type C. However, this one is a USB. So I got myself one of these um, adapters. Again, I'm, I'll link it in the description. They have other ones, so you could check. They're super cheap. Some of them are like 10, 15 bucks, if so. So um, this one has multiple ports, but the other end of it is a type C. Okay. So what you would do is get one of these adapters. All right. You plug it in on the actual phone as so. And then you, you, you would use one of these uh, USBs uh, from the uh, hard drive cable. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll plug in the cable that belongs to this. Well, yeah, that pretty much belongs to this hard drive. Okay. So uh, here we go. Let me try to see if I could plug it in. Okay. There it is. Plugged in the cable. The other end of it is a USB. So what I'll do is use the adapter, plug it in here. And now the hard drive is connected to the phone. How do you know that? I'm going to show, show you that in the next part. So as you could see, you could touch the hard drive, depending on what, which model you have, and you could feel it moving and the light is on in this one. So it's on. Okay. So let's get started to see where exactly you're going to be, you're going to be seeing what I'm seeing. All right. So, and so let's move some pictures. Okay. Again, everything's plugged in. Now, if you know this part, fast forward it, just use the, the parts that you need. But this is, um, I'm trying to go step by step for the, for people who are really novice on how to do this. So anyways, Everything's plugged in. We'll go back into my files. So I have it already here, but you could type in my files or files, but it looks something like that. Like I said, you go back here again. It's going to show you the breakdown of everything. It's going to show you your hard drive. As you could see here, this time we're going to go to images because we're going to move some images. All right. So we go to images and uh, I'll select this folder. Okay. So let's say I want to move uh, a couple pictures. So I'll click here here, here, and here. How, how did I do that? I'll do it one more time. You press and hold any picture for a good five, eh, not even three seconds. And then you're going to see like little circles up here. So when you see little circles, you start selecting the pictures you want to move. Okay. Now, again, if you got thousands of pictures, it's going to take forever. So what you could do on, on top is going to be a button that says all, or probably somewhere at the bottom. If you click on all, it's going to select all the pictures all the way up literally your thousand of pictures that you might have in there. Okay. Um, I'm not doing it. This is for a testing purposes only. So I am going to just select four pictures, but let's say you selected them and selected all of them at the bottom. There's a button that says move. Okay. It could be on top again, depending on the model, click on move. When you click on move, you're going to see like right here, it's going to be like a little option says you got four items or 10 items or a thousand items selected. Okay. Once you, once it selects the items that you want to move, you go, you press the back arrow. And then you go back to the main page, which, well, I call this the main page where the hard drive is. You go into the hard drive. Okay. And then you 
click where it says move here. And you can see it right there, move here. Now, those pictures that I actually copied are literally in here, okay? I moved like I was testing up a bunch of other pictures as well. But anyways, that's basically the gist of it, guys. That's all you need to do. Once you do that, uh, you move all the pictures you need. You could go ahead and unplug it. And that's it. Once it's unplugged, everything is already saved into the hard drive. And then you can move it from the hard drive to your computer. Or you can move, keep it on the hard drive and basically just save all your pictures. And then, you know, the pictures that were here, you could delete them and, um, you know, clear some room for your actual phone and you have all your pictures stored now again you can do all this stuff in the cloud and and, and, and you know uh, um, pay for that if you want um however if you want to do it this way again this is a simple process it works literally for the majority of hard drives so any external hard drives you might have all you need is uh depending on the model hardware you have you need an adapter and with an adapter you just move your stuff from your phone to the actual hard drive all right hopefully this video helped you guys out like comment subscribe guys if you got any comments or any questions in regards to this video leave it on the comment section i'm going to do another video for the iphone part um so if you guys are interested in that check that out and i'll be posting that later on all right guys thanks again for watching guys one two three see you guys in the next video take care